Hi everybody, Dave Yellowbeck with Homes Built Right. The 2023 National Electric Code's got some changes for your kitchen GFCI protection. There's a lot of them. Stay tuned, let's talk about it. Hi everybody and welcome back. In the past couple of videos, I've been talking about the 2023 National Electric Code and some of the changes that are coming in that new code as, uh, as it spreads out across the land. But today we're going to stay in the kitchen and talk about what the 2023 National Electric Code has to say about GFCI protection in kitchens. It's not just for countertops anymore. It's, well, basically everywhere. I'm not kidding. Let's take a look. Okay, so when it comes to GFCI protection, they've always been in the code book. But this year, in the 2023, they've expanded it tremendously. I mean tremendously in kitchens. Because guess what? The word all means what? The word all means all. And it says what? It says all 125 volt through 250 volt receptacles installed in the following locations. And then they go ahead in the code book and they give us a list of those locations. And supply by single phase, etc., etc., shall have ground fault circuit interruption protection for personnel. So we go from there. So 210.8a is the overarching paragraph, and then it has a list of stuff underneath that that's supposed to have GFCI protection. And we're going to go right to 210.8a6. Number six is for what? Kitchens. That's it. That's now. Kitchens used to be different. So what they've done, though, and I've just made a note here, they've taken out the words to serve the countertop in prior editions of the code. It said, hey, in kitchens, those, those outlets that serve the countertop shall be GFCI protected. Well, guess what? That wording's gone. It just says kitchens. So all 125 to 250 receptacles in kitchens shall be GFCI protected. So just start thinking, anything electrical in that kitchen is probably covered by GFCI protection. That includes you know, your, your refrigerator. Your refrigerator is plugged into a GFCI, your microwave, your range, your uh, disposal. All these things are going to be plugged into GFCI protected outlets or circuits. So that covers a lot. But with this video, you get a twofer, okay? You get a twofer in this video. 210.8D. D, they entitle this one specific appliances. Now, again, that one previously that says kitchens, you know, 125 to 250, that kind of covers almost everything. But here they say GFCI protection shall be provided for the branch circuit or the outlet supplying these things. And then again, they give us a list. So the list in the book is technically 12 items long. But I'm going to focus on the last six, because starting with dishwashers coming in at number seven on your hit parade, dishwashers was in the last code. So dishwashers had to have GFCI protection. But then they start hanging this up on these things. What are they? Electric ranges. What's number? Number eight is electric ranges. Number nine, wall mounted ovens, then countertop, counter mounted cooking units, then clothes dryers and microwave ovens. Those are very specific items. And people will say, well, hey, electric ranges, then, then a gas range doesn't have to be GFCI protected. No. Remember what we just talked about. All outlets in a kitchen, basically, shall be GFCI protected. Here they're just kind of piling on, telling us, hey, in addition to that, all these are listed as, as well. So the 2023 National Electric Code, it adds a lot of GFCI protection in the kitchens. So get familiar with it, talk to your electrician, and see what's coming up in a jurisdiction near you. I hope you learned something. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to our channel down there. And uh, look forward to seeing you again on the next video from Homes Built Right. So long, everybody. See you next time.